Okay, where do trees go when one tree has a birthday? I'm gonna do four problems from this. You can see I've already started here with number one. I've uh, copied the problem down. And so I'm gonna be working right here. Um, eight and one fourth minus five and one half. Uh, they do not have a common denominator, so that's where I'm gonna start. I like to show my work here. Some of you do this mentally. I'm multiplying by one to find an equivalent fraction. One times two is two. Two times two is four. Now I don't have to change this one because I can change the this denominator into four. So now I have one fourth minus two fourths. Now that would be a negative amount of cake. If I'm, if I'm standing there holding one piece of cake that's been cut into four pieces and two, and I want to take away two pieces of cake that's been cut into four pieces. So as we said in class, I have to cut the cakes here. So I'm going to cut these eight whole cakes. I now have seven whole cakes. I'm going to take that one cake over here and I'm going to add it to this cake. I'm going to take that whole cake that was uncut and I'm going to cut it into four pieces. That's why I'm adding four fourths here. I didn't just pick four fourths because it's my favorite number. It matches the denominator, which allows me to add it. Four plus, well, I'm not adding the denominator. This is the piece size. One plus four is five. So now I started with one fourth of a cake. I gave it a whole cake. Now I have five fourths of a cake. Five pieces cut into fourths. Um, five minus two. So five fourths minus two fourths is gonna give me three fourths. Seven minus five is two. Sometimes students forget that we still have whole cakes to subtract. This is already in simplest form. That should be my final answer. Down here at the bottom, I need to find two and three fourths to make sure that I got this answer correct. You guys are always faster at finding this to me. Here it is. So the directions tell me just to cross off this box. In the end, whatever letters are left over, I'm gonna fill into these boxes in the order that they appear. And that's gonna tell me the answer to, where do trees go when one tree has a birthday? So I know that this answer is two and three fourths. Let's do number two. Nine and one third minus four and five sixths. So again, I have different denominators, which means I have different piece sizes. So I noticed that three and six are related. I know that three times two is six. So I'm only gonna change this top fraction by multiplying by two halves, giving me two six. So one third is equivalent to two six. If I have two six of a cake and I wanna take away five six of a cake, I don't have enough cake yet. So I'm gonna take these whole cakes, make that into an eight. I am gonna take that cake over to here and I got cut it into six, matching that denominator. So now I have eight pieces at this piece size of six. I had one third of a cake. They said that's equivalent to two six, and I added a whole cake to it. Eight six minus five six is now three six. Eight minus four is four. If I go down to the bottom of this paper now, and I'm looking for four and three six, I don't see four and three six anywhere on here. I do need to note that this has to be in simplest form. Three six is really half of a cake. And you'll see right down here that four and a half is here. I love these because I can find my answer right away, four and one half. Let's do number seven. So I'm gonna copy my problem. Ooh, that's a big number, 18 and one third minus three and four fifths. All right, so three and five, I can't really multiply three by a whole number to get to five. So I think I'm gonna change both denominators. And in this case, I'm gonna use a denominator of three times five, which is 15. So this fraction I'm multiplying by five fifths. And this fraction I'm gonna be multiplying by thirds because ultimately I want a denominator of 15. So now it's 5 fifteenths minus 12 fifteenths. Now again, I'm taking away too much cake here. So I need to give myself some more pieces or I'm gonna go into negatives. So this is gonna become 17 whole cakes. I'm giving a whole cake over here, which I'm gonna cut into 15 equal pieces. So now I have 20 pieces at the piece size of fifteenths. 20 fifteenths minus 12 fifteenths is gonna give me eight fifteenths. 17 minus three is 14. Hopefully it's gonna be down at the bottom. 
14 and 8 fifteenths. Here it is. I'm going to cross that baby out. Okay, last one that I'm going to do for you is number eight. I guess I'm going to come down here and do it so I have enough space. Nine and two ninths minus eight and one half. Okay, nine and two. Different size pieces. Need a common denominator. Um, I guess I'm just going to have to go with nine times two is 18 because that's the, the least common denominator. So here I'm going to multiply by two halves and get four eighteenths. And here I'm gonna multiply by nine ninths and I'm gonna get nine eighteenths. Four eighteenths minus nine eighteenths. Again, I, I can't have negative cake here. Um, so I'm gonna take this cake, I'm gonna cut it up. I'm gonna give that whole cake over here. It's piece sizes is 18 out of 18. That would be a whole cake. That gives me 22 pieces at the piece size of 18. 22 eighteenths minus 9 eighteenths. Ugh, 22 minus 9. Oh boy, I wish I had my calculator next to me. Right now my brain isn't working. I'm going to say that's 3. I think that's 3. Yeah. Or is it 13? It's 13. I have to come over here and do it. 22 minus 9. Three group 3. Yeah, it's 13. Okay, good. 13 eighteenths and eight minus eight is zero. So really my answer here is 13 eighteenths. Hopefully that's gonna be down at the bottom. 13 eighteenths. Oh, da, 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 no. 13 eighteenths, there you are. And then you progress from there. All of these are gonna require regrouping. You're gonna to have to cut the cake for every single one because that is the skill that we are practicing. Hopefully this helps. I will see you guys in the next class.